So everybody has their own ax to grind. Uh, when I was at the University of Pittsburgh, we had a, a nice reception there with, on the, on the, with the students. And one of the average or the usual question that comes up uh, very frequently with uh, students has to do with uh, uh, the antitrust laws and monopolies. Because students are just finishing their economics course and they're told, watch out. You can never have laissez-faire capitalism because the monopolies will eat us up. And uh, just think of the horror of the 19th uh, century. <clears throat> so the student asked this, and I explained uh, <clears throat> in my best manner to uh, tell him that even the antitrust laws are not uh, interpretable, that, uh, you know, if you have uh, everybody, uh, if somebody charges too much, that means they have too much of the market and they're gouging everybody. If they're charging too little, that means you still are too strong and you're cheating and running out the competition. And if you all charge the same thing, that means you've worked in collusion. And uh, afterwards, uh, there was a student came up to me, <clears throat> and uh, he, uh, he introduced himself as being a, uh, a student, uh, an individual who had migrated, uh, immigrated from the Soviet Union. And um, he, he said that uh, that reminded him of a joke when he was in the Soviet Union. He'd come here in the, in the mid-70s. And uh, he said that, the joke was there were three people and three Russian prisoners, and the one prisoner, and they got to talking, and the one prisoner says uh, they want to know why each other was in the prison. And one prisoner said, well, you know, I kept getting to uh, work uh, too early, and they accused me of uh, um, buddying up to the, uh, to the officials. And the other fellow said, well, I kept getting there too late, and I was cheating the state, so they put me in prison. The other person said, well, I kept getting to uh, work on time, and they accused me of owning a Western watch. 